Hello YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Now this is going to be some sort of ironic irony, but however, I'm today going to show you some capturing software that's pretty essential for capturing PC gaming at its finest. And what this is, is supposed to help you overclock your video cards optimally, allowing you to do it and have the settings and everything at your disposal. But at the same time, this was initially used to help demonstrate overclocking as well as anything else with that. But, again, the central thing I think is pretty wild about this is you could generally just record games off of it, which to me is just like the herp derp why am I going to pay like 60 to 80 to 30 to 20 bucks for something when I can get it for free and it works really well. There's only exceptions to a couple games where once in a while I come across that ever does not work with this program, which again, it's wild in between. But what I have for settings, so if you guys are curious about that, is it's set at half frame, 30 frames per second, because YouTube only does up to 30 frames per second anyway. MJPEG compression, and I have it set to 100% quality. And that's pretty much what I use for that, but again, pretty easy. Uh, you also have the screen capture, which it does a snapshot for you, and you can be able to just go snap shot with F7 or something like that, whatever you choose, and be able to use it for your blog websites or anything in between if you want to show it off for a website, which I usually just have this running in the background, and I can just, you know, if I see something really cool in the game, I just hit F7, save it, and then, you know, generally have that to show off for any blogs or any forums or anything of that nature. So it's pretty much awesome. It's an all-in-one package. It's free to download. I did not make this. I have no intention to distribute this at any price, but I'm just generally showing this off to you. A little bit of a disclaimer. Touch my nipples. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of an example of the software and work. So I do have some footage here I had saved a while back. This was of Blades of Time. Pretty decent game. Not anything too amazing, but good at the same time. Turn down the video, or not the video, but turn down the sound, it's kind of loud. As you guys can see right here, runs pretty damn smooth. When you obviously have this in video editing software, it looks a hell of a lot better, but as you guys can see, that's how it captures. Because again, the camera to screen does not do it justice. But again, I'm just letting you look at that really briefly. And it's just really awesome software to use overall. I mean, it, it's something that if you have a low-grade computer, it will work pretty damn well with. Like you'll have zero problem capturing, you know, some of your games you like playing and you want to share something that you've discovered along a game or show some tips or let's plays or anything of that nature. When it comes to emulators, I mean, most emulators nowadays have this software built into them, so it's really no point to, you know, use this for an emulator if you have it. But, again, it works pretty damn optimally well, which, again, I really doubt this would work with an emulator anyway, because I found some problems with that here and there. It works pretty damn well <clears throat> with most of the, you know, intensive games. There's only like a few or once in a while, such as an MMO, that it does like start a little bit, and I die there stupidly because I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But again, as you can see, the footage runs pretty smooth. But yeah, that is the MSI Afterburner. I highly recommend this software to anybody. I want to show a little bit of a better video if I did not already already cover this and show what this device can do, or this piece of software rather can do for your video cards as well as anything you like to record touch my dirty nipples that is all i have to say about this and if you have any uh you know educated questions about this piece of software i will try my damnedest to try to answer it if i know it if i do not know it i'll just say i don't know so take it easy guys and take care